I've just rediscovered this book um, on my bookshelves. In fact, it just fell out of my bookshelves and sort of fell apart. It's an old Spanish book, a book of a translation of um, poems from Al Andalus, from Moorish Spain, by Emilio Garcia Gomez. I've had this book for years, um, maybe about 30 years. In fact, when I picked it up from the floor, um, as, as I say, it's all, it's kind of really cheaply made and you can see how the binding is very good but when it fell out of the floor it opened at this page and actually I found this note that I wrote a translation into English of one of the poems and it was a poem that really struck me at the time so about 30 years ago um, called La Barca by Abul Hashesh Al Munsefi from Al Muthafas near Al Muthafes near Valencia which today is known principally um, as a because it's where there's a big Ford car factory. In fact, it's where my brother-in-law used to work at the Ford factory. Um, so not a particularly remarkable place now, but obviously um, it produced its own fair share of poets back in the day. And it's a beautiful poem, actually. Um, I'll just read it out in Spanish. Apareció la barca como un nadador que avanzaba sin contraer los pies rígidos, veloz como el sacre que se abate asustando al Milano. Parecía una pupila que contemplaba el aire orillados los párpados por las, las pestañas de los remos. And I translated it at the time. The little boat appeared like a swimmer, moving effortlessly through the waves, like a falcon swooping down on a kite, and it seemed like the pupil of an eye contemplating the air, its lids lined with the lashes of oars. I, I just find it a really beautiful little poem, very short, very lyrical, and it's quite different to a lot of the... Arabic poems, it's classical Arabic poetry coming out of the Middle East and Moorish Spain in the Middle Ages, which can be quite formal and a bit stiff and doesn't really translate very well, but this has a certain charm about it, which I really love. So I just wanted to share it with you.